Kenneth Noy was a real character with a rap sheet longer than a CVS receipt. He faced charges for the suspected stabbing of a surveillance police officer in his back garden. And he was involved in the sale of gold from the infamous 1983 Brinkmatt robbery. A £26 million heist later dramatized in the BBC TV series The Gold, the largest heist since the Great Train Robbery of 1963. The question is, Despite David Norris's claim to the contrary, being he claimed, right, Malone's claims were fictitious and completely malicious and had nothing to do with Adams. But of course, the police have to do their investigation, right? So the question is, in the course of their investigation, did the police, following Malone's story, finds that Adams and Kenneth Noy were connected. It turns out that during the investigation into the 1983 Matt Gold heist, an officer kept notes in a pocket book. I imagine that they must have had to go back into that case to see if there were any connections between Adams and Kenneth Noy, as Malone had claimed. The notes in the pocket book revealed a request from Noi for a visit from none other than John Adams. Noi emphasized the need for secrecy, suggesting Adams pose as his accountant during the visit. The twist in the tale comes when the deputy commissioner overseeing these meetings agreed to allow Adams visit Noi in his cell because Noi claims to be an informant for Ray Adams. The 2000 report mentions two encounters between Adams and Noy, but unfortunately, nothing substantial was gleaned from these clandestine rendezvous. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the backstory of Commander John Adams and how he became connected to this case. He's also the same man who is known as Murdoch's Yardman, or should we say Enforcer? I looked up the meaning of yardman because I have never heard that phrase before. And in the UK, a yardman is someone handling various outdoor tasks for their employer. Connecting the dots, it seems Commander Ray Adams was Murdoch's errand boy. Remember how I had told you earlier that Adams took sick leave in May 1993 and never returned to duty after his retirement in August of that same year? Well... Where do you think Adams went after he retired? Adams's next job was the deputy head of security for NDS, the global security arm for Murdoch's News Corp. Coincidence? I think not. Let me tell you, of course I had to look into that story. And when I tell you that that company is not without scandal itself, believe me. NDS was embroiled in a massive scandal involving a piracy site called the House of Three computer. This site allowed hackers to post codes enabling users to pirate pay TV service for Murdoch's competitors. Goodness me, I'll spare you the details, but just trust me when I tell you. It's a complete scandal of its own. It had its own inquiry, its own investigation. But of course, he got away with it. Perhaps I'll do a video on this after I'm done with this series. Let's refocus on the main story, which is the connection between Southern investigations, the police and the media.